everyone welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new if you are new my name's Jodie um, I like to do beauty related content hauls uh, reviews tutorials on my channel so if you're into that kind of thing make sure that you are subscribed we're trying to get to 750 subscribers so it'd be lovely if you can join the family um today's video is gonna be my highlighter collection i have already done videos on my bronzer drawer and my blush drawer so i thought i'd do highlighter next um but after that if you guys want to pick what the next drawer is please let me know down in the comments of what one you want to see next and we can totally do that um but like i said today is highlighter just want to say a disclaimer this isn't to brag um my collection is quite large and i know that and i know i'm one person but makeup is my passion um one of my few passions um and literally i'm gonna say 90 percent of it is bought by myself the rest is gifted from like friends and family and i have had a couple of bits from brands as well but literally only a few bits so yeah this is what i choose to spend my money on i'm sure you choose to spend yours on other things but yeah anyway i'm not bragging just thought I'd show you my highlighter collection because people love these videos. I love watching these videos, so why not show you guys? So without further ado, let's just get into the video. Okay, so this is my highlighter drawer. It actually does fold out more than this, but um, for the sake of the beginning of this video, I'm just going to do it from this bit. Now, I'm sorry if the camera does keep focusing in and out or maybe I'll do that. Um, or if the angle is a little bit dodgy, um, where my drawers are situated it's quite a tight area so we're working with what we've got also before i go into the straw there is going to be probably a few brands that people aren't going to agree with or people don't like the owner of the brand yeah basically there's jeffree star in this um i don't really know what to say other than i don't show it on my channel unless it's a collection video so it's probably the only time you're going to see jeffree star unless someone asks for it which i highly doubt they will um i only really use his stuff in my own time but i'm going to show you that i have it because i'm not going to not show it but yeah you can always skip through the, the bits where jeffree's involved because i do have quite a bit of makeup from his highlighter collections so yeah i just wanted to address that as well so on top you can see this beauty this is the doll beauty highlighter palette this is the hall of fame palette you can no longer buy this i believe to my knowledge you can't buy this anymore um but you can still get all the highlighters that are in it so <clears throat> or at least four of them so i got this on a very good deal um if it wasn't last year it was the i think it was last year yeah when they were sending them off like i said you can still get duos on like tiktok and stuff um and on their website so honestly some of the best highlighters um i own and some of my favorites like the quality is insane i'm going to try not to swatch everything because i will be here all night i also can't help myself so yeah <laughs> Um, this one is out on top just because I gravitate towards it a lot. And I need to re-jig re this drawer just slightly. Next, I've got this MUA palette that my lovely friend Lizzie sent me. Um, this is in the shade... Oh, it says Graduate Light Palette. Gra graduate? Gradient Light Palette Glimmering Gemstones. And this is gorgeous. Like, for MUA, the quality of this is really good. I don't know if this is available. She sent it me because... Um, they're not really colours she uses for highlighter, whereas I will use coloured highlighters. And you'll see quite a lot of coloured highlighters, so yeah. Next, we've got my Soph um, a Face Duo. This one is Sugar Frosting. I love this palette. I was really kindly bought this in a secret Santa exchange that I did. Um, and I'm obsessed. I'm so glad that I got bought that. Um, her original palette is one of my favourites. If you've watched some of my other highlighter collections, you will see that I destroyed that palette. It was, I mean, three shades I hit pan on. I loved it. I've still got it, but I just don't have it in the drawer anymore. Then I have this Wet n Wild Hello Halo Blush Lighter. So it's like a blush and a highlighter, but I just keep it in my highlighter drawer. Um, this is in Highlight Bling. I don't know if they do different ones of this. But I've seen quite a few of my friends have it, so I grabbed it as well. Again, 
Like, look at that quality. How insane is that? Wet and wild as well. Magical. Then we've got two Jeffree Star palettes. So we have Brain Freeze. Um, I buy all my Jeffree Star second hand. I've not bought any of these brand new. So this one was off Depop. Um, probably spent a bit too much money on it. But it is what it is. I'm not going to lie. His highlighters are really good. And then we've got Platinum Ice. Which looks like this. Again, love this. Got it for a bargain. Then I keep two rows of um, like single highlighters in these white tubs. Again, these tubs, if you watch my other collections um, videos, are from B&M. So the first one houses every single one of my Josh Cosmetics highlighters and my Beauty Bay highlighter. So I'll show you the Beauty Bay one first. This is in the shade Flash. It's the icy white one. And then, like I said, all of these are Josh Cosmetics ones. So he has um, opened his business back up and um, he's still selling highlighters. So you can't get all of these anymore, but you can get like quite a few of them still. So I'm going to go through them. To begin with, we've got Creme. This is his most popular shade and probably my favourite highlighter out of this drawer, maybe, potentially. Um, it is absolutely stunning. I'm going to swatch this one like look at that you even though i'm quite pale i can still make this work i just absolutely adore it then we've got luna which is an icy white we've got fiery um exo fiery which was one of his valentine's 20 21 ones i think or 2020 i can't remember which one we've got princess peach which is a collaboration with sarah sultan if you've watched some of my other videos you know i absolutely love sarah um this is one of my favorite highlighters as well because you can swirl it around so you can make it darker or lighter we've got aurora which has a blue tinge to it leafy which has a green tinge to it these are great if you like coloured ones. Popping Bubbles, which is a collaboration with Abby. Well, Abby MUA. This, again, is one of my other favourites. It's like a purple shift to it. We've got Tinkerfell, which is a pink one. True Love, which is a blush topper come highlighter. Happy Days... Uh, Happy Vibe, sorry, which is a yellow. And then last but not le least, we've got Little Peach, which is stunning. So that's all of those. Then in this back one, I have like an assortment of different brands. So we've got one from Colourpop, which is from the Barbie collection. This is Beach Party. And just looks like this, it is beautiful. I have one from Sol, which is like Colourpop sister brand. This one's in soft pink. I find these so hard to open. And that is what that one looks like. This is my only Ofra highlighter. Um, I would really like Steph Tom's Milk and Cookie. But this one is Star Island. Really annoyingly, my one has come out of the pan. That's what that one looks like. We've got XX Revolution Echo Highlighter. This one is stunning. And then we've also got Clydus. And this one is Ray Rider. Absolutely beautiful, absolutely stunning. And then um, we have my Be Perfect singles. So this one is from the Polar Vortex range and this one is Frosted. I want to get some more of these as well, like I just love a good highlighter. 
haven't bought many highlighters recently though. Oh, I can't open it. There we go. That is what it looks like. It's the lightest shade. It's very glittery. If you don't like a glittery highlighter, you won't like that. To be fair, all of these Be Perfect ones are glittery, so just be pre-warned. Then I have all four of the Get Wet highlighters. So we have Holly Glaze, which is a pink like gold pink reflect we have skin sheen which is like a bluey greeny shift soft silk is quite dark but it works for me for pictures and stuff and then last but not least i've got do you which is this one so that's those two compartments if I take those out then underneath those I have two more palettes that don't fit up like sideways because the drawer's not tall enough so we've got my Corella de Ville Primark palette which I love this palette I absolutely adore it and we have the Josh Cosmetics highlighter palette in he did different ones so this one has leafy um creme it's got Sarah's collab and it's also got little peach in it and I bought it for these two mainly um as a backup when I thought his company wasn't going to be producing highlighters anymore but yeah they still are I will now go through this section here so this is like a another compartment and this holds again the rest of my singles like no easy way of showing you this basically sorry so we've got rev i heartbreakers this was a christmas collection this one's love this is stunning like literally can't get rid of it because of how like look at that literally can't get rid of it then we've got mega moon from obsession i don't know if Obs obsession is a thing anymore like they've literally not bought anything out in ages does anybody remember these three pound ones um i've just kept the purpley one i got rid of the other ones got Mega obsession this is a loose um powder shimmer in champagne these are really nice if you can still get these on sale i definitely recommend then i've got two more loose ones from a christmas collection with rev so we've got ice diamond and rose quartz then i've got this revolution highlighter in the shade dare to die Rouge, which was also for secret santa got this hojo highlighter this one is number three and it is a icy white one i've got a benefit dandelion twinkle like a little mini um what else have we got oh i like these these are the i heart revolution fruity pebbles collection so we've got fruity pebbles and co um cocoa pebbles and they're like shimmer brick type bits I've also got the Duchess and Beloved highlighters from the Aristocats collection. Um, I don't think I've ever shown that I got that collection. I never did a video on it. But, yeah. What else is here? Oh, we've got the Maybelline Face Studio Chrome Extreme. This is still one of my favourite highlighters, guys. So good. This one's in... 200 diamond glow 
I've got this Revolution one which was like controversial because they copied like Luna Beauty with the packaging and everything but um, this is Revolution's crisp, uh, Glass Crystal Illuminator. The packaging is stunning though. We've got the Wet n Wild Blossom Glow Highlighter. Again another fabulous one for a very good price. And then I've got Makeup Obsession highlighter in glisten which just looks like this it's really pretty then i've got this revolution pro palette and that is in ice this is so beautiful i love that and i've got champagne truffle from i heart revolution how beautiful is that? I mean, it looks super dark, but it's beautiful. Um, small Jeffree Star coming in, so I've got three. We've got so, so effing gold, which is quite dark, but a friend gave them me, so yeah. We've got mint condition, which I've always wanted this shade always and it is beautiful and i've also got princess cut and can i just say these highlights are huge and then lastly in this section i have a josephine what is it is it a liquid i think like this is in the wrong place yeah it's like a liquid highlighter which is beautiful. I'm going to actually move that though um, to where my liquid um, highlighters are, which is just the drawer above. Video on this drawer coming soon. Last but not least for this section, I have all of my princess ones from I Heart Revolution. Um, so, if I can get them all, we've got four. Um, the first two are not the best, I'm not going to lie. They just look beautiful though on the shelf, like all together. So we've got the Beauty and the Beast one. Like I still even have them in the original packaging and everything. We've got Cinderella. I'm so behind on this collection now guys. I really, really need like all of the new ones like from Mulan, like Mulan, Sleepy Beauty, Snow White, um, Tangled and Moana. Then I've got the Little Mermaid one. These ones were a lot better. It's quite dark though. And then I've also got Aladdin's one, which I think might be my favourite if I remember correctly. which just looks like that they look quite dark and they are a bit but i can just get away with them and now we move on to all of my palettes so it's quite a lot of palettes here guys so a couple more that lizzie sent me she sent me this profusion luminizer 2 palette this is beautiful and she also sent me the Makeup Revolution Ultra Cool Glow Kit. Um, I don't remember if I, if I still have my Revolution highlighter palette. I mean, we'll find out. But yeah, I used to have the other ones, that one. Then we've got my Be Perfect Sub-Zero Mamma Mitchell collab palette. I love this. These shades are just stunning. These ones I can't really wear, but like hopefully when I do clients and stuff i'll be able to use those ones on other people oh this is one of my favorites if I, if I tell you to get any palette this is one of them this is the pixie and rach loves collab highlighter palette i got mine from tk maxx for 5.99 and it is stunning like absolutely beautiful i adore it well worth the money like one of the only pixie things I own. 
Next, we've got my AH Glow Kits. This was the very first one I got. It is very old. Um, I would literally never sell it just because of how old it is now. Um, but I don't use it either. It's like one of the few sentimental items I actually have. Then I have another two ABH palettes. So we've got Moonchild, which just looks like this. And then we also have Aurora, which looks like this. And I can't bring myself to get rid of either of them. Like, they're beautiful. Um, just a sucker for a highlighter. Got the Cheek Leaders Mini Bronze Squad palette, which has Cookie highlighter in it. It's got Gold Rush Blush and Hula Bronzer, but... I keep it in my highlighter drawer. We have another one that if you're going to get anything... I don't know if these are still made, actually. This is the Jaclyn Hill uh, The Flash Highlighter Palette. This is, like, my baby. Guys, this should be so expensive. And I paid... Oh, my God, it wasn't even closed properly. I paid £27 for this. It should have been 60 Like, Don't get me wrong. It is absolutely beautiful one of my favorite highlighter palettes in this drawer but it's so expensive <laughs> we have my replacement original soap highlighter palette um on my old one i hit pan on these two shades and that one on the end um but this one is a bit more intact <laughs> Then I have a Huda Beauty palette, which just looks like this. It's like a way more colourful one. I just feel like bougie having Huda Beauty, even though I got it from TK Maxx. Another one that Liz sent me was this Cosmic Lights highlight palette from Barry M super pretty we've got the morphe uh baby in paradise bretman rock collab i have wanted this for the longest time and we got it for such a steal i'm so glad i waited out um we've got skinny dip highlight of my life i smashed this one but like it's too dark anyway i love these it's really good this is to say it's just a random skinny dip palette We've got the NYX Strobe of Genius palette. Really nice. Let's bring these forward. We've got the Beauty Bay Living My Best Light Delicate palette. Absolutely adore this palette. Really good. Another Jeffrey palette. We have the Northern Lights um supreme frost pro palette this one is a different formula to the other palettes i showed you and it's absolutely stunning and goes for a lot of money i i got this one very on a very good deal and then i think and last but not least we have two primark palettes so the first one is opal and these are like abh dupes they're very old and this one is bronze and this is like one of the first highlight palettes I really ever had and you know what Primark highlighters are not bad at all and that is my full highlighter collection um I love this drawer but I always feel like there's like I've fallen out of love a little bit with highlighter just I don't know they don't excite me as much as it used to maybe it's just because I'm more of a blush girl now but like who knows so I'm going to try my best now put these back Oh, this is going to be fun.
so that is everything for today's video hope you guys enjoyed my highlight collection let me know what you want to see next and i'll see you guys in my next video bye